Respected friends and elders, even as we sit here, many of our young people will be in examination halls, writing exam papers, finishing off assignments, preparing for the submission of reports at school level and at university level. Examinations. Everybody's, everybody's been there. You know the feeling, this looming deadline which suddenly, eventually, ultimately arrives and you find yourself prepared or unprepared. Sometimes things go far better than expectation, sometimes the other way. Is there an opportunity for a reset or not? Was revision done properly? Was the time before the exam spent in procrastination? Was I the type of student who would spend all my time making a, an elaborate plan? This much revision on this day, this much revision on this day. And then redoing the plan when I had done nothing after a week and two weeks and after three days, 72 hours to go? Or was I the kind of student who used every moment carefully? Every drop of energy that I had, was I able to cut away, cut the shackles of socializing and too much rest and to engage and immerse myself in my studies? Or was I the kind of person that was always distracted, was never able to focus. Did my effort pay back? On the day of the exam, did I write my answers with confidence? Or did I just guess half the answers? Were there big gaps in my exam paper? Or did I complete it from beginning to end? When I came home from my exam, did my folks read my face and congratulate me? Or did I have to hide my face and conceal the truth that I was expecting a reset, a failure? This dunya is a test. Allah Azza wa says that he created death and life that he may test you which of you is best in actions. Wahul Aziz, he is dominant, Al Ghafur, the forgiving. And there too, in the Quran, <coughs> there is a very profound and powerful description of how on the day of Qiyamah people will be given their record, their book of deeds, either in the right hand or in the left. Those who will be given it in their right hand will come running to their folks and family and be, they'll be wanting to share their record. There'll be no stain, no mark on that record. A person who receives their record in their right hand will have had their sins removed. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Nothing left to declare. This will happen in an instant. On the day of Qiyamah, the books will fly. Simultaneously, all of creation will receive their book of deeds in one go. May Allah make us from the Ashabul Yameen, from the Sabiqeen, those who read the foreigners, those who receive their book in their right hand. And there'll be those who'll receive it in their left hand. No congratulations for them. And not even from in front, but from behind. And they will know no limits. Their remorse and regret will know no limits. And they won't want to show it to anybody. They'll curse themselves. So the Quran uses an interesting word for those who will be successful. This is a reward. This is a reward for what you did in those long empty days. Long empty days, my friends. Long summer days. Is it Netflix? Or is it Asr Salah? What do we do in those moments? 
It might not seem so relevant now. It would be an understatement to say that it will be relevant what we do with these days on the day of Qiyamah. So the dunya is a test. And so while many have exams to give right now at school and university, let this remind us of the bigger exam, the bigger test. How we respond and react and how we behave and conduct ourselves. What our aspirations and ambitions are. What drives us? What kind of student are we in terms of the akhirah? Are we procrastinating? Are we of the category for whom the time of Tawbah is somewhere in the distance? One day, one day. أَلَمْ يَأْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ Has the time not come? The Quran says. أَلَمْ يَأْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا For the believers. أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ That their hearts be humbled for the remembrance of Allah and that which has been revealed from the truth. Has that time not come? Has the time not come to sort ourselves out? To change the tune, to change the direction. And if I can sort of focus on this brief point before we close, traditionally, the autumn days of a person's life, the kind of retirement years, semi retirement, retirement, they used to be the time of a person's life in which a mu'min, a Muslim, would increase and engage at a greater level in their a'mal, in their tilawa, tasbih, dhikr, making up for missed opportunities in life, tahajjud, miss fas and miss salah perhaps. It will be a time to prepare for the akhirah. It will be a time when people would complete and perfect their tawbah. And you would see this all the time in our ranks, in our rows. Individuals who have absolutely devoted themselves to worship and ibadah. It's very sad to say that today it's not just the, young, in the, the, the youngsters, the young who have fallen prey to the entertainment value of the screen and the internet and the smartphone. Adults too, who ought to be in their prime in terms of their spirituality, are losing the plot, as you might say. And just as young people, sometimes young parents, will use the tablet as cheap entertainment for their, for their children, it seems to be the same way for adults as well. When people are retired and perhaps moving towards infirmity. Hours of their day and night are spent observing something vague, abstract on a screen which has no relevance to their deen, dunya or akhirah. No true value. And so they can fall into becoming senile while doing nothing else but watching entertainment, cheap entertainment online at a time which should have been the prime of their life. And we're not generalizing, but we see this pattern. And I'm speaking for those people, as well as to them. I mean, this is not what we should be doing in our latter years. And if we have elders in our household, it is not how we should be arranging their time. We should be using those moments to sit with our elders and to learn from them, to talk about their life experiences, to encourage our children, the grandchildren, to talk to their grandparents. And to learn from them. And as for the elders themselves, as we move towards the final chapters of our life, it's time for extra ibadah and worship. It's not time for preoccupation with trivia. So let me conclude with the point I began with, and this applies to all of us. Life is a test. It's not just the examinations that are being given in this diet of exams this season at school and at university. The whole of life is a test. And Allah Azza wa Jal is observing us and our records are being kept for us. 
We need to keep this in mind and not be from those who procrastinate and have false ambitions. We need to be from those who are preparing and revising for the big exam in the Qabr and on the day of Qiyamah by being proactive, by completing our Tawbah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.